lot of guys are thinking you have to go out and immediately purchase, you know, more proprietary components. And this is why I tell you, I hate proprietary. If these companies go out of business, and let me tell you, it's happening left and right. I just had it happen today, did I not, about open builds. I heard that they're going out of business. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't researched it myself, uh, but... I don't know why somebody would lie about that. And uh, we're going to see that a lot. Right now, we're in a, a tricky situation with tariffs and all kinds of other stuff. And if people don't have a stable business model, they're going to be gone. I mean, it's a fact. So keep that in mind. With that same principle, though, of other businesses being gone, there's a lot of opportunity. And when I say that, that means you can pick up a Gerber. I can't tell you how many guys have told me I've picked up a Gerber for, you know, 500 bucks. And that used to be a, a twenty to fifty thousand dollar machine. The chassis are excellent. It's just understanding how do we adapt the motors to the chassis. Another thing to keep in mind, and I get this question a lot on the NEMA twenty threes, the the bolt mounting pattern. If the bolt mounting pattern is off slightly, you can naturally make adjustments. And on most Gerbers, the whole differential on their mounting pattern, because again, they were using proprietary motors, is usually off by a millimeter to a millimeter and a half. Now, what does that translate to? That translates to you guys saying, well, all I've got to do then is use a slightly larger drill, bore out that hole, give myself a little place so I can adjust the motor. The motor's got a centering shaft. So once the shaft engages with the transmission, you can easily center that up. That's not a big deal. The big deal is adapting your transmission components to the motor. And that's exactly why I'm telling you this process works extremely well.